Hmm? What's up, everybody? This is Johnny LC. You might as well start over. Mm-mm. I'm not starting over. Nope. <laughs> they gonna talk about us. All right, what's up, everybody? This is John and LC. I'm keeping this. Um, this is John and I'm LC. <laughs> come on, come on, be serious. Okay, I am being serious. No, come on. What if I don't want to do that anymore? No, no, no. I'm trying to. Signature. No, I'm on, trying to on. distance myself. From no. The... Oh, oh, okay. Do the last time. What's up, everybody? This is John and LC. There we go. <laughs> we are here bringing you another addition to our uh, platform on YouTube. It's going to be called uh, Marriage Moment. Every week we're going to be giving you um, advice based off experience. You know, we're not professionals. We didn't go to a school for marriage counseling. Speak for yourself. <laughs> but, <laughs> but we are going to come to you guys with uh, marriage advice based off our experience um, this is for everybody out there, um, and hopefully we, um, you guys can, um, enjoy this and apply it to your lives and hopefully, you know, uh, spread it to your family, um, who's, who's having issues. Like I said, like, this is based off of our, um, our experience and we hope that it, um, helps you. Uh, today, uh, we're going to bring you a story about something that just happened last week, actually. Mm -hmm. It's about switching roles, um, uh, my wife, uh, she stays at home and works, um, and I leave um, and come home. With I have a nine bacon. to five with the bacon. So I come home. I have a nine to five, of course. I actually go in office, and so um, it was a point to where uh, she wasn't working, you know. And so, um, and so every time I come home, you know, sometimes the dishes wasn't clean, sometimes the food wasn't prepared, and I'll get mad and angry. What the? How was my reaction? You know, most of the time when I come home. I mean, like, you wouldn't, like, be like, why isn't this done? I mean, well, I, I guess my expectations wasn't considerate of what you were doing with the kids. Mm -hmm. So, that was my first thing. So, today is about, uh, like, us switching roles, right? And so, first, I just want to say that if you're having problems with your spouse being a stay-at-home mom or a stay-at-home oh. dad, I mean, what problems as in, like... Like every time I come home, like the dishes isn't clean. Every time I come home, um, um, you know the food's not ready, and she's in the same spot I left her. I mean, I mean it happens. Like man, like what do you do all day? Like that's the questions that people ask, right? And this is the look on my face. Like, no, 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 no. I'm just saying, like, yeah, like it is. That's yeah. the that's the questions that you know people ask is, hey, what do you do all day? You know, to their spouses who stay at home and don't work, or you know stuff like that. And um, and it caused a lot of problems. And one problem it caused is because my wife will always say, you know, I say, hey, I'm working all day. And then you'll say. I'm taking care of your big headed kids. <laughs> right. But you'll say, love. Right. But you say that, <laughs> hey, I'm working too. Yeah. So my wife will say, hey, I'm working too. Mm -hmm. And so, okay, baby, you're working, but I'm actually like really working. And that's the first thing about um, in, in this type of situation is the fact that um, I would type, I'm like, I would, I would minimize her role, you know, be, you know, just because I leave and actually go into an office, I will minimize what she do with the kids all day. And so, or, or, you know, it's kind of tough, actually, it's kind of tough dealing with the kids, you know, cleaning the whole house and having food ready, especially since we got, you know, uh, um, an infant and also a toddler and it's kind of hard doing both picking up kids from school and picking up kids from school Making and doing sure all that and so that was one of our biggest and so that was my so I represent a lot of working spouses out there that always came home and as soon as I came home, I'll clean the dishes and I'll get an attitude. Like, man, like, what do you do all day? You know, and stuff like that. And granted, sometimes I have the opportunity to take care of it. Right. But other times, not so and I much. just and I and I just didn't understand. And I just didn't understand what she. Uh... You can keep going. I'm gonna. 
child. You gonna cater to the crying child? I did. <laughs> My child is crying, everybody. So sorry. Um, so you know, she's gonna come back, but sometimes, um, uh, sometimes, uh, man, I lost my thought because my child, my child's crying. This is raw, authentic. You guys are getting raw, but yeah, but like I was saying, um, sometimes we'll try to minimize their role and stuff like that, and and sometimes it will make them feel like they're not adding to the uh, uh, um, relationship, or they're kind of like baggage. And that's how you make them feel. And so what happened is, is that like we switch roles, you know, like I said, she just started working. And what I did, and, and what I did is I stayed home with the kids and she worked for about five hours. And so literally she left, I think this was last Monday, last Monday, she left and went into the office and I stayed home with the kids and I actually took the day off and it was a living hell. I mean, it was two kids out of the four kids and I had to pick up one. Like, my infant, she wanted to, like, be held all day. And my toddler was very needy. The dishes kept piling up. Um, and so it was chaos. I had toys. I had food on my bed. I was running around, dirty diapers. And when my wife came home, I was like this. And when she came home, she was, like, just angry. Because she said, I feel like I came home to a chaotic house. And so since she said that, to make a long story short, we switched roles. She came home and saw the dishes in the sink. She came home and saw me sitting the same place that I sat when she left. She came home and saw me with that crazy look like, come get your kids, you know. And... um. And she saw, like, she saw me like, I don't care what you think. This is a lot. And the, and the crazy thing is, is that from my perspective, I saw her um, tired, frustrated, don't want to do anything, and need help. And so we kind of had a little look like you didn't do nothing all day. But then after that, we realized, we kind of laughed after because we kind of realized that, you know, hey, you know, this is what you feel like. Baby, when I come home, I see you sitting there and doing nothing. It isn't the fact that you don't want to do nothing. It's just the fact that, you know, you, you know, you did a lot, you know, today with raising my kids. You did a lot today. And what she saw was, hey. I came home to a spouse that needs my help, not to a spouse that doesn't do anything. And so I'm not trying to lose you guys. All I'm trying to say is that if you're out there and if you are um, a spouse like me who was, who is not seeing the value, even if it doesn't bring home any money, if you are a spouse like me who, who, um, is not seeing the value and she is back. I am back. So basically, I already told the story of you coming home. Mm -hmm. so, so when you came home uh, very quickly, I'm trying to make this a, uh, under 10 minutes. Yeah. When you came home that day, what did you see? You looked worn out. Yep. <laughs> yep. I, I, I see. I see. I, I, I told y'all I looked it worn out. You looked worn. Right. I looked it worn, and that's what she feels like when when she's at home, and she saw chaos and got angry, and that's what I felt like. I I wouldn't say I got angry. Right. It just kind of when you walk into chaos. It's yeah. Like, okay. Yeah. I, I need to. I yeah. need to get everything yeah. back on course. So. Yeah. So basically. <laughs> uh, my, my daughter's crying again so uh like you guys are getting raw man um so like i said um if you are a spouse out there who does not value what your spouse puts into a relationship even if it doesn't bring any money if your spouse do not work if your spouse do not work and and all she do is take care of the kids all day. That is a lot. And so my marriage moment for uh, uh, this week, 
the first of the first marriage moment is try to understand the value that your spouse brings to the table, even if it doesn't bring any money. Raising the kids is a lot. Dealing with the kids is a lot, even if it doesn't bring any money. It's raising your next generation is a lot. And so I had to realize that, hey, you know, my wife wasn't working, but she still brung a lot to the table as much as me. And so uh, this is our marriage moment, understanding the other's role. Uh, like and subscribe. We're going to do this weekly. Um, comment. Any suggestions? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Uh, once again, sorry, my wife couldn't, uh, you know, she's dealing with the kids right now. So, um, yeah, peace out, y'all, and uh, see you next week. Bye.